Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the color of the line art that you've imported into Procreate. It's pretty easy when you've drawn it in Procreate, but a lot of people struggle with changing the color of the line art if it's scanned line art that you're bringing in. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Hey there, my name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you guys a trick that I recently figured out uh, on changing the color of imported line art in Procreate. Uh, this is something I've struggled with. Uh, I've actually been sending files to Photoshop to run an action that I have there and then pulling it back into Procreate because I've had such a problem figuring out how to do this. So I have finally figured this out this morning after looking at lots of color hole tutorials and trying to find one that is compatible with Procreate and I found a really simple method that I'm aggravated I didn't figure out earlier. So the first thing I want to do is actually show the difference in doing this on imported line art versus doing it on line art that's drawn in Procreate. So if I turn off all of these layers, so I've got a background layer and just a blank layer, and I pick a color and I draw some line art. Okay, Everything that's white in this canvas is transparent. So it's simple enough to, for example, I could go into the hue saturation and brighten it up a little bit and then go into color balance and say shift the color of it. Okay, that's really simple. Okay, and if I wanted to color, like say brush on some of this or only select parts of it, I would just go into the layers, two finger swipe to the right on the layer. So just pull it to the right and let it bounce back. So now all of that that I've drawn is alpha locked, which means that I can't draw on any of the white pixels. So if I go pick another color, like red, and start painting, you can see that it's staying inside the lines. So that's a cool trick. But watch what happens when I try to do this on an imported, like scanned line art. So I'm going to go back to my line art here. And this is just an ink slayer. Now this was imported into Procreate. It wasn't drawn in Procreate. So all of this white space is not transparent. It's white. Okay, so if I try to alpha lock this and paint on it, you can see it's not working because it's alpha locking the black pixels and the white pixels, so there's nothing here that's transparent. So the way that I'm getting these white pixels to look transparent is just by setting the line art to multiply, which is a very common method of doing this. If I set it to normal, you'll see that that white comes back. But I'm going to set that back to multiply, which is how it's usually done. And I apologize if you hear my cat clawing up the carpet. Thanks, buddy. So I'm going to show you a really easy way to do this in Procreate that I wish I had thought of a long time ago. So right now I have my ink selected. Okay. So I'm going to three finger swipe down to copy. Three finger swipe down. It brings up this menu. I'm going to click copy. All right. So now I'm going to go make a new layer on top and I'll rename this to holds because the industry term is color holds. I don't know why. So color holds. I'm going to fill this layer with black. Okay, so I already have black selected here. I'm just going to drag that onto the canvas and fill it with black. All right, now I'm going to put a mask on the holds layer. So I'm going to click the holds layer and click mask. And you can see what it's done here. It's created a mask on the holds layer. So I'm going to make sure that I'm on the mask, that I've selected the mask, and I'm going to paste the line art. So I'm going to three finger swipe again and click paste. It's going to look weird, so I'm going to go back to the mask, click it again, and click Invert Mask. All right, now I'm going to turn my inks off, and you'll see that it looks exactly the same, okay? Except there's a difference this time. If I go down to this holds layer and pick a color and start painting, you're going to see that it's only affecting the line art. So I'm actually using the line art itself in the mask, okay? And I'm coloring underneath on the holds layer. So I'll make a big, uh, a big like sweeping change here, so you guys can see this in the layer window. All right, so you see now in the layer window how what I've done is on the holds layer. My inks have been inverted on the mask, okay? That's it. That's all there is to it, okay? So I've got my inks, one more time. Three finger swipe to copy. 
I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to fill it with black. So I'm going to go black, I'm going to fill. I'm going to make a new layer, or I'm sorry, I'm going to make a new mask. And I'm going to paste the inks on the mask, not the holds, layer 21 here. I'm going to do it on the mask. Three finger swipe, paste. Now I'm going to invert the mask. So I'm going to click on the mask again and click invert. Turn my inks off and I'm done. So from here, let's say for example, I just wanted to, you know, change the line art on this baby. You know, I can go select the baby. And as long as I'm on the layer itself, layer 21 in this case, I can change this color and start painting. And now I've changed the color of just that baby. And it looks like he's glowing and has superpowers. So that is how you colorize line art in Procreate. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, I have multiple Procreate courses at the links below. Just go to 01artschool.com, which is there, over there, that right on top of the, of, the, of the canvas. I've got it there for you. Be sure to check that out. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.